Hello and welcome to what is round 6 of the FRLR Racing Championship and you join us at Alton Park. Uh, what you see before you is somebody that can't engage their wheel into gear. Now uh, this is all happened at the start of the formation lap and I qualified P1 so still not engaging in gear and trying everything to try and turn it on but what's happened here is I've had a complete reset and all the buttons are mapped in completely different uh, combinations so I'm trying for all the life of me to try and get it to start in gear otherwise it's a quick to pit and try and get it sorted before that but however I have engaged first gear there so we're off uh, thing to look out for I got a ticket for this uh, stewards reprimand I think I was having my own problems so enough of them at the minute but yeah what the key point with the button maps have changed is the starter ignition are all mapped to a button on my wheel and this button I used to change TC so this is a button I use a lot so instinctively I hit it a few times and I completely killed the car's engine now in order for me to restart the bloody thing I have to come to a complete stop to first gear and uh, yeah basically restart the car I've got to pick and choose the moments to do this because we're all not feeling too good at this JR household at the minute so we're all doing our little bit so yeah as you can appreciate busy guy so I, yeah I'm getting a reprimand for this for driving through cars I think or so, something to do with science involved in the sort of formation lap so again I've hit the button I think yeah this is me this is the case that car died no I'm, I'm actually warming the tires up but I do it happens again up here I instinctively hit up the uh, the button map again kill the car and then have to come to a grinding halt which isn't ideal you know this is a formation lap you need to concentrate on uh, warming the tires up and you know controlling the uh, the field basically because a p1 you met uh, the guy but I think where do I do it yeah there the engine cut again so I'm, I'm having to literally start off again and to go through cars I'm, I'm trying everything I can so I thought it was important to show this to you that it, it happens and to be better prepared I guess uh, there's really not a lot I can do in the in the middle of a uh, you know start of a race. This is the, the most I could. So apologise to anyone that had an issue with me driving through them, but I really don't see did, I couldn't do any much more other than quit to pit. So it was good that the ticket got thrown out eventually, because you know there's not a lot I can do. Anyway, you join us for the start of the race. We've got through the formation lap just about, and I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of a warning. We do hit the engine again uh, for. But yeah, it was a bit. It was at its own unique points in race one. So this is two two races tonight, and you join us at the start of race one. Isabella is also here, cheering us on. So again, we're just coming up to the line now. Not ideal. Hello, you saying hi? Tires are not in a good place. Uh, the brakes could have been a lot better too, but it is what it is. And uh, you join us for the start of race one of the night. Stick around because we do have race two coming up afterwards. And a massive thanks to all the legends that do comment on the end of the videos. I really do appreciate it, and it does help a lot more people view the video. So thank you to everyone that does. It's always a concern heading into the first couple of corners with cars <laughs> outbreaking themselves, cold tires, cold brakes, and uh, rear-ending you. So it's nice to gap a little bit and have that little bit of a, a banker but you know it wasn't out without its flaws tonight uh, there's been a little bit of a break between streams and do like and subscribe great uh, point there but yeah break between streams uh, from Donington uh, I did have another race I could upload for the FRL but I just didn't want to after uh, after Donington I did not enjoy that the bunch of races I, I think I would one of them too and got close to being on the podium for the second one but yeah, I, I was just not in a great mood and uh, I didn't feel like uploading any of them. I didn't see why I'd waste my time doing it when, it, it, you know, at my time gets wasted at the end of it, like, so. Yeah, really not impressed. And the same with this one afterwards with the ticket and whatnot. I just couldn't be asked. I've got enough going on with uh, ill kids and ill family or whatnot, you know. Everyone's self-isolating at the minute. So it takes up a lot of the time, so I really don't need to sit on Discord or YouTube and explain myself. For, for something that's really out of my hands. Who clappies yet? Yeah, I think Isabella agrees too. More time towards that. But anyway, we're through lap one now. And I do appreciate you sticking with us with your rambling on, but I did want to show the first little bit with me struggling with the button set that was the wheel not engaging in gear and it happened the same thing at Donington now to start from the pit lane in race two. Uh, I nearly had a podium out of that one too, but some was some hard battling, uh, it wasn't to be unfortunately. So again this edit was done the other day, so bear with me, I will give you the best explanations as I can. A car exit in the pit now, coming up onto lap 4, some of the guys have just really come out of traffic there, I believe that's Dell, 
He's a top guy, uh, a great driver too. He's, he's always been uh, respectful. And he's always come out of the way wherever it's safe to do. So I knew coming into that corner and I could trust that Dell would, would make the room. And I put the indicators on. Massive thank you, Dell. I love Dell Gets Loose as well. Uh, all Hell Lets Loose version of it. But here he joins us on lap number seven now. And we've got no reason to push. We've got quite a healthy advantage, you know. We've got, we, do, we do not need to push. But again, I wasn't very happy we've been blocked. And we've, we're on the grass. And believe me, on, on uh, PC, you could get away with that and slow it down. But believe me, on console, you hit that grass, there is nothing you can do. It is not like PC. I tried everything there to, to, to get around. And again, just to top it off, I've hit the button, the, the ignition and the starter together. So we have... A lot of damage at the minute, and I mean uh, a lot of damage. I think we're way over a minute at the minute. <laughs> Isabel, don't turn the PlayStation off, please. Yeah, a minute and 12 seconds. So we're just trying to get the coat it round now. Luckily, we hadn't taken our pit stop, so we can do it all in one. And with the FRL League, you need to pit, uh, take tyres, and you need to uh, set fuel as well. So you just split the strategy half and half when you can. Obviously, being out in front, it was more preferable to go long than it is at the back and come in straight away. Nothing slowing me down. Or oh, having to break for rather. So yeah, we've 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 been to first place in a in a place where we had a good a good advantage, you know, we had a good bit of uh, good bit of time between me and P two, so there was no need to do that. I think I was just angry and trying to set like bloody fastest lap every lap and you know, where well, that's just a rookie mistake. I put the indicator on it because I know P three is coming up behind me now. He's also in in the little compass in the middle. So yeah, we're coming into the pit lane now and we're going to try and get rid of the damage and we're going to have to fix all of it. So we're going to lose a lot of time. Instead of the 30 seconds it normally is, we're going to lose double that and some. So yeah, it wasn't ideal and it was my own fault. I should have really just much managed it really from there. But yeah, that's just racing and that's how it goes. Uh, we're, all, we're all human. And again, it's coming out of the pit and I'm still trying to start the car which which normally would be already ready and gone so uh, I'm having a hell of a night here with, with just the button maps and getting onto it and it's just not been great so far and it's not over yet for race one either so P14 I believe there's a couple people that still need to pit so we'll make a, a couple of positions up here and there but for the most part we, we've just lost too much time here car just out in front there. Yellow, Yellow flags up ahead and that's my teammate actually that's involved with that. He, he had a night as well. People I think taking him out or at least you know made his, his life real difficult at Ulton. It's just not been fun at the minute for either one of us for various reasons like free practice there's really no reason to block anyone's lap in free practice especially if say you're coming out the pit or you know if I think I would like to apologize right here for the move on the edge if it is the one I'm thinking of I get up the inside of him and I knock him slightly off I, I go a little wide there it wasn't intentional and you'll see that yourselves but yeah on the back end of these now my teammate uh, Rashid just in front part of the Rundi JC racing crew uh, it's been great all season as Rashid his pace has come on massively plus good team player as well we're in the championship at the minute he's a little further down than I am so understands the well, not the importance of me being in front but you know the po points wise it, it's super helpful but he's also running his own race and this is for position between the both but I think something happened back there before the start finish so we're on the back end of this now damage is fixed but the car just doesn't feel the same at all it looks like the lads have really got genuine pace through all that section. I don't know what it is, maybe a bit lack of track knowledge or something, but they, they're they really quick through that section at least. So yeah, we're, we're P12 at the minute. And we're just trying to get onto the back end of them. It's just difficult to do at Ulton at the best time, but... I was just driving off like a pissed off school kid at this point I really was not happy with myself. I was so angry, which is uh, it's kind of unusual. Like, I don't usually see smoke coming out of here. It's wide there too. Yeah, so it's not really my uh, my race at the minute. A little hot and flustered. I'm just trying to get him to look in the mirrors at, the, at this point, but yeah. Into turn one now, trying to get a good run out. And we managed that. It gets sideways, and this is the moment. Got big balls time, hanging it on the outside, and he's still there. And as I've come in, we've, we've sort of knocked there, and he's definitely got the worst of it. At the time, I was, like, well, I was kind of debating why he was still at the side of me, but you know, looking back on that, 
That is my fault, and I do apologise. My fault. That's not how I drive. Uh, coming up onto Rashid now, who should be way up than this in the order, in all fairness, to him with his pace and how he's driven. So it's definitely uh, something that's gone on during during this race for him to be to be this far back. Really, he's got real good pace at the minute as uh, Rashid. So I think he comes out the way of me in a second and lets me through, which is fantastic of him. You know, for the championship at least, it's. Uh, should have maybe should have possibly had P1 in the race, you know. It's hard to say with like 16 minutes ago how that one would have played out, but had it carried out at the same pace and everything else, then you know we should have breezed it. But racing, we made a mistake, got on the grass and just could not save it. Coming up on to five minutes to go, start of lap 14, and we're coming up on to P. I've killed the engine again. This is this is still my night going here. So Rashi, for all his work he did like back back there, I've literally. Got to start up and go again now, so it's just, uh, I can't tell you how frustrating this is, but, yeah. I think it's important to add it, especially with the, uh, stewarding ticket about what was going on, so. Yeah, it wasn't my night, uh, especially with pressing buttons that I rather shouldn't have. Believe me, for race two, that button got changed. But, yeah, again now, with three minutes to go, we're just coming up on to Dell, who gets real sideways out of that corner and manages to, manages to keep it out of the barrier, so. Good going on the other, mate. Uh, yeah, coming up onto end of lap 16, and we've sat on the back of Rashid. I think he's let off for quite a, quite a bit to to give us the, the position again. Uh, so massive thank you for the Rashid. I'm truly sorry for you having to stop and literally let me by again, mate. With the indicators on, just a big thank you. He does that. Massively appreciate that one. But not ideal. And this is it. End of the race. And we bring it home in P9. Thank you for my teammate. But yeah, that was horrible. That is not the way... Oh, they are... It's not... This is the last lap. This is how long the edit's been done and I've not known. But yeah, we've caught up with P... P8 and P7. So you've got to think without all me stopping on track that... I'd have caught these a little earlier in the lap and maybe had a better result here. But yeah, on the back of the Bentley, it gets super sideways out of that corner. And there's just about enough room there for a Bentley to get through. Which is okay. Yeah, and I'm not, not like exactly digging this corner anymore after what happened uh, at the start of the race. So I'm genuinely careful through that. And we're back on the end of Trek Tornado, who we managed to have a great race with at the Hungara Ring. We did! We had a great race with him. Yeah, he was just having a bit of a bad one at Hungara Ring, unfortunately. And we caught him at all the wrong points for the track where it was really difficult to come by. But uh, yeah, he did holds, holds firm here. Good line for him. There's no way coming across. And there's definitely no way if two cars are getting through here at this point, so yeah, he's holding the middle of the track, as he should. Roadblock. Yeah, difficult. Just start now trying to get the drive out of here to go through the sweeping right-hander to see if we can stick it up the inside of him. But we're just trying to be a nuisance at the minute. No way by. It's positioned the Ferrari really well. A little wide there, which needs to be able to get a good run. And he defends the inside, as you should, coming up into uh, the last corner now. I'm going to try to do the cut back on him, but good on the brakes, and he gets to drive out the corner, so massive, uh, well, well done, mate. You've you driven really well there and deserved that position, but nightmare of a race for me in that respect, but take nothing away from the Ferrari. There were no round round in there. So that's the end of race one. Thank you guys for checking with it and staying, and here's race number two. And as you might imagine, top three do not qualify for the second race of the night. However, we had been there and managed to qualify. So we managed to put it back on pole and we're going to try redeem ourselves this time, basically. We're not going to put it onto the grass and uh, make a silly mistake, hopefully. But stay tuned, you never know, it might happen. But yeah, this time around, we have actually swapped the engine map and ignition of the starter and ignition all to different buttons now. So there shouldn't be any of this can die in the engine, but yeah. Trying to get away from the the BMW behind, just a bit of a gap, bit of a banker, because it can be difficult on the first couple of laps when, you, especially when you're in the pack, you you lose so much time. So all the fast guys from the first race will be at the back, trying to make their way through, probably make an early pit stop, uh, try and make up some time, which is always a good strategy for you at the back. But again, yeah, FLR rules, you've got to take that one pit stop with uh, mandatory tyre change and fuel in it. That's all 30 seconds, so... Everybody's got to do it at some point, but uh, depending where you are and who you're racing with, who you're coming up on, you know, there's different things, different calls that can, you can do. 
But as we're towards the front, we're just going to try and hang it out as long as possible. And it looks like me and P2, uh, is it crazy? I think it's a Scottish bloke, one of the Dell's friends. Uh, yep. Yeah. We managed to pull away. Uh, the top four seem to have pulled away there. Got a good gap, so. End of lap one, and it's looking good. It's looking alright, you know. It was looking good last time as well, and we cocked that up, so. See what the edit does, and I'll do my best. Go now, end of lap two, and one of the guys in front have pitted. They've taken their pit stops, got out the traffic nice and early, but it does go a bit wide into that one. It gives me the position. I'm sure I didn't mean to do it like that, but yeah, however it comes. Uh, end of lap three now, and coming up onto uh, Hutch, is it? And there was a Porsche there, just in the... Uh, just coming out the way, basically, I think, there. He was having a, his own accident, but yeah. End of lap three, and we're coming up onto the people that have pitted, made their pit stop. So it would even itself out once I once I pitted, but we're try just trying not to lose a lot of time through here. And Hutch, th thank you very much for coming out the way there. Very very fair of him, as he is worse in the car in front. You know he has lost that little bit of time there to, to let me through. So I do appreciate it. I've good awareness, if if anything. Yeah, there were blue flags and whatnot, but I've had people sat in front before. And now the GTR comes out of the way. He, he had a bit of a bad exit there on, the, on there, but still come clean out of the way. Uh, very aware again, just like the Audi before, so thank you, lads. Okay, after briefly sorting the camera out and the uh, microphone after going off, we end it lap 7. Coming up onto uh, Big Time Dave in the uh, Audi there, where the blue flag is. I believe they just let off here. It's not ideal coming into this corner on the race in line, but no, we got through. Oh, just thank you for that. We always like to be like, keep him in. Show good awareness then, and good race car. So it's uh, yeah, and we're coming up onto the dreaded corner at the minute. And we've got yellow flags. Not sure what's going on in front, and uh, like you know, you you would lead in the race. You're coming up on that. You would have thought somebody would uh, like stop. I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know if they could really see what was coming the other way. In all fairness to them, but yeah, it's not ideal. I think that same car there. In all fairness to him, that was the one back there. I'm sure it was, and he just comes straight out of the way coming out the pit. So you know, it does make me think that he probably hasn't seen people coming towards that sort of teardrop. So we're coming into the pits now. I believe in quite a lot healthier shape than we were last time. A little slow in, a little tap there as well. I believe <laughs> with one tenth for damage, but. You know, over the other one, we'll take it and watch this as a result of the pitch box entry. You know, we're straight in, and we are straight out. Uh, yeah, the button map really has helped us out that time. So, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that supports the videos with the comments at the bottom. Uh, we're on PC now, so we are ending all of the uh, console leagues that we're part of. We're, we're, we're finishing up the seasons on the FLR with my teammate Rashid. We'd be gone otherwise. Is uh, Uch having a moment there? Uh, but, you know, he doesn't come back on track or anything. Uh, coming up on to the end of 13. So, again, we've got the PC now. So, we're just waiting for our hour to open up. We've got a big grid Suzuka coming up with my teammate Chris as well. That should be real fun. I've never done anything with more than 20 cars on grid, 90, whatever it is. So, should be uh, should be an experience. I'm going to try and capture it all and give you it uh, as, as it comes. Yeah, there's a couple of cars there having a moment. Glad that they didn't come back on track straight away. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's all going off in Ruiz too, like... And as a race leader, you don't want to see any yellow flags and people off and joining back on. You really don't want to see any of that. And I think the Porsche, the same Porsche maybe that was having a problem, up and let us through there, has let us through again. And, you know, he's, he's real, let us through again. So thank you for that. Uh, this is it. And a massive thank you again to everyone that supports the video with the comments, with the likes. It helps more people view it. And it makes stuff like this worthwhile. Again, we're on PC now, so we'll be looking to get into all the PC stuff and finish off the console uh, stuff. But yeah, we've got some exciting uh, videos and exciting content to come, so please take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Big thank you for all the legends. Peace and love.